I'm here today to restate the lawful constitutional authority of a governor to use his or her uh, veto authority. I stand behind my authority and I would do it again. Hi, I'm Tony Plahetsky here with the Austin American Statesman. It was supposed to be just a 20-minute hearing this morning in State District Court in a pretrial hearing in the case against Governor Rick Perry. Instead, the hearing lasted 90 minutes as both sides disputed whether or not the prosecutor in this case, Michael McCrom, has been properly sworn in to handle the case. According to the governor's defense lawyers, he said McCrum was not properly sworn in, therefore potentially making all of his actions in this matter null and void. This has been a comedy of errors from start to now, and I'm just here to tell you it's not funny. This case should have never been brought. It should not proceed any further than this. And Governor Perry should go back to his business of governing this state. McCrom very sharply and very definitively disagrees with that. He says he was properly sworn in. So that is the matter that tied up about 90 minutes of the court's time this morning. Governor Perry's defense lawyers have asked the prosecution to provide a transcript, a confidential transcript of a grand jury proceeding in this case. Under Texas law, those proceedings are generally kept confidential. The judge did not rule today. He is expected to do so sometime in the next several days, though. This is the third hearing in the case against Governor Rick Perry so far, but it is the first time that the governor has been required to come to court. It drew a number of reporters from across the state today, but very, very few people from the public were in court today. The governor entered the courthouse through a secret private entrance, but did leave through a public entrance after addressing reporters.